Um, um, could you just run down who's not here again? You did that at the beginning, but I was getting the meeting minutes kind of ready, and I missed it. No Vesa, no Samir, no Denise. I'm here. But there's a Donna. Is Vesa still on the board? Yes. He is. Mm -hmm. okay. When do those terms expire? This month. Uh, this month. We, okay. Yep, that's why we have that on exec session. We do. Yes, and I know that because I copied and pasted it, but didn't read it. But now I've read it. All right, sweet. <laughs> um, thanks. All right. All right. Um, welcome everybody. Um, on the agenda today, I mean, I think you all have the minutes or the board packet rather in front of you. We're going to do the typical um, operational update and, and Q and A, and then we're going to do reports from the different committees that will be very quick, two minutes each. Uh, and then we're going to talk about the licensing, working group, charter, and then we're going to move on to the executive session. And we have quite a few things in executive session. Um, so hopefully we can get through the first part quite fast. Holly, the floor is yours. Yep. Um, I will go fast. Um, Thanks, Dries. So I just want to highlight a few things from the packet this time, uh, and I'll start with the, the Drupal cons. Um, sorry for making you seasick while I scroll. I'll get there. Uh, so for Drupal cons, um, obviously we're in our first month after um, Amsterdam, and as many of you already know, we had record attendance uh, for a European com at Amsterdam. Um, there were 2,300 folks there, which is really fantastic. Um, that was a bit of a surprise. We had a, a leading up to the last couple of weeks before the con, we felt like we were behind. And then we had a real surge of last minute tickets, um, mostly from Amsterdamians. I don't know how you say that. Amsterdamers. Amsterdamers, of course. Of course they're Amsterdamers. Um, so, so that was great. Um, we have also been pulling through all of the numbers from the financials to the um, session evaluations to the overall conference survey. We'll have a lot of, you know, more about that in next month's recap of the Amsterdam Con. Uh, spoiler alert, uh, nobody liked the food. Uh, so we'll be sharing some more about that and things that we're doing at future cons to address some of the issues that did come up. Um, in other con news, Latin America is now live. The site is live. Um, it took us a while to sort out um, how to do payment processing um, in Spanish and in English and in Colombian pesos. Um, but I want to send a huge thank you to our community volunteer, Aldebir, for helping us sort that out with um, PayU, uh, the vendor we're using there. And um, also, if you get the chance, definitely register, if only for the fact that it makes you feel like a millionaire to register in Colombian pesos. Because the <laughs> you get a lot of pesos to the dollar is all I'm saying. Um, and then Los Angeles, I just uh, I just saw the final comps for the, the art. I just want to say it's spectacular. I'm so excited. Uh, but uh, the big news in Los Angeles is that the session submissions for Los Angeles start in January. Uh, so look out for those. Um, and just on um, on our side of things, we've been working towards, um, you know, new unified DrupalCon sites to make a con launch a lot easier um, for us internally. And Jacob and Emily and um, Bethany Alhaj have been working a lot on that. So we're really uh, looking forward to seeing some of that work, um, which most end users won't really be the benefit of. But you'll see some new things on the con sites starting in Los Angeles. Um, uh, on the back end and, and also a few things on the front end too. So we're excited about that. So that's the DrupalCon news. Any questions about that? <clears throat> okay. Um, on Drupal.org, on the Drupal.org side, um, the big news coming out of Amsterdam was that we released the roadmap for the 2015 plans and you can see those at <coughs> Sorry, you can see those at um, drupal.org slash roadmap. Um, and all the plans are laid out there. We've had really good feedback just to the idea of even publishing the roadmap. Um, and now, um, as Josh puts it, we've published lots of this kind of thing before on the site. So now the trick is to actually do it. 
Uh, so they're working on that. Um, but we're, we're, we're pleased to have that up there. We also, in the last uh, month, released the terms of service and privacy policy updates. Um, mm-hmm. It was just really, um, you know, did our best to take what was some really, there was some really great constructive feedback from the community. And we tried to really <clears throat> make the tone um, and spirit of those documents align with, uh, you know, what we feel are the community values and the association values. Um, and we think it's a much better document. We're still keeping a list of things that uh, folks have questions about that we might want to update in future versions. But right now we have over 15,000 folks who have accepted the new terms of service on <clears throat> um, logging into the site. So that's great. Um, and the team, <clears throat> sorry, guys. The team also, um, uh, in the last month, launched a new commit message interface on the site. Uh, We also have over 400 automated tests now. So when we build something, we actually can test it on staging before we push it to live, uh, which is, you know, the right thing to do. Um, So those are two big, huge things that happened in the last bit of time. Um, And especially on the testing, I just, you know, I know that uh, Melissa... <clears throat> and Sam did a ton of initial work on those BDD tests. Um, and I just want to thank them for doing that and Ryan and our team for picking them up. And then also actually getting a lot more continued support from Melissa Anderson in, uh, in getting those tests back up and running on the site. It's been a, it's been a really great thing to have. And I think the last bit of news on the Drupal.org side is that the team is fully hired out. Uh, at this point, we uh, brought on our last, um, engineering team person, um, Tim Lannan just joined us as a project manager. Um, and that has been fantastic for the tech team. Um, and also for <clears throat> community members and for, uh, particularly for our staff who, um, you know, now feel like they have a great resource to go to in terms of, you know, identifying the things that we need to get done on Drupal.org and, you know, figuring out how to get them done and when they can get done and, and all that good stuff. So, Awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> and of course, oh, I should also just mention, we continue to work on uh, updating the profiles on Drupal.org. And that's uh, the first big technical step and towards, you know, realizing some of what Dries talked about in his Amsterdam keynote. Um, and we'll have more to talk about that, you know, in the coming months. So any questions about Drupal.org? Okay, very briefly on the community program side, we did have uh, global training days last Friday and uh, last Friday and Saturday. Uh, there were 82 participating organizations, which is fantastic. Um, and we were thrilled to have events on every continent but Antarctica, which clearly means that um, George. I'll work on that. Yeah, somebody needs to work <laughs> on that for the next time of trip for global training days. <laughs> I'll I'll make a note of it. Yeah, it's time for us to go back. Okay, good. (laughs) Clearly the baby needs to go. Yeah, that's the tricky bit. (laughs) Um, And then on the marketing communication side, um, you know, Joe spent some time working with the security team as we released the the core security advisory uh, that went out last month. Um, and then we spent some follow-up time working with that team to develop a strategy um, to respond to the new cycle um, as a follow-up to the PSA that, that followed up that security advisory. Um, and so uh, basically those guys are working together now. Um, the, the general gist of it is to um, let the discussions continue and let the cycle die down. Um, and they are working on materials related to you know addressing lessons learned from the um, from that uh, announcement um, and uh, some more, uh, you know, sort of proactive, uh, here's what you can do in the future and here's how we've changed our systems, uh, you know, to uh, to address some of those issues. And so uh, I think starting um, December, January, we'll start to see some of that content get out into, uh, out into the, out into the ether. So I think those are the, um, the big highlights to talk about from the October through November time frame. Any questions about anything else that you guys might have seen in, in the packet? <clears throat> there's no. Well, if there's no questions, we can move on to the board committees. 
Um, so let's follow the order that's in the doc, which is revenue and then governance, finance, exec, and marketing. So revenue. Sure. This is Megan. Um, so we are doing pretty well. I mean, Holly talked about DrupalCon Amsterdam finishing a lot um, stronger than we anticipated, which really helps us out. Um, the sales team who's responsible for sponsorships and the supporter program, web ads, um, the other non-con revenue, um, they are at 97% of their annual goal, and so they're using the next couple weeks to really push hard to get that to 100%. Um, and um, so overall income is looking pretty strong. Uh, if you look down at the different product lines, you'll see that Drupal Jobs is off. Uh, it's been compensated by going over on the sponsorship side, um, and that's what made up for that. So I just want to kind of point out those types of things. Um, but what's important to note is that um, our 2015 revenue plan um, has a big emphasis on like Drupal Jobs and Drupal.org web advertising. So this fall, actually while we were at Amsterdam, we uh, brought Carrie Lucina on board as our product manager and strategist for creating um, web advertising products and improving Drupal jobs and really getting those numbers up. And she's done a great job interviewing people throughout the community, uh, potential customers, um, working with staff, and she's coming together with a great list of products and a prioritization plan to, to roll these out. And so um, I feel like we're really well positioned to move into 2015, and I'll have more on that uh, shortly. And then also just working with the Revenue Committee to prepare for 2015. Two areas that we're focusing on are the um, is the co-marketing campaign. So it's been great. Uh, just to recap, uh, at the last retreat we talked about two marketing events uh, in Europe. Um, and we want to find two industry events where Drupal could be the sponsor. We'd go in with some companies to demonstrate the power of Drupal in different industries. and. Um, it's been great working with FESA and, and the others to kind of get that research going, and so we'll be working more on that as a revenue committee. Um, and then also starting to think through the steps for the fundraising campaign that's associated with uh, the Drupal 8 Accelerate program. And um, so those are the things that we're focusing on right now. <clears throat> awesome. If there's no questions, we can move on to the governance uh, committee. So the governance committee um, uh, convened uh, in just recently to talk through all of the uh, all of the uh, um, election change uh, stuff that uh, that we had uh, discussed in a previous board meeting. Um, and we've come up with some some recommendations. Um, I'll uh, uh, you all have a, have uh, have been shared uh, on the uh, on the on the notes. They're pretty messy. But I'll put together sort of uh, a clean bullet point uh, set of recommendations that we came up for came up with for perhaps the next uh, the the next uh, board meeting uh, if we can get it on the agenda. Uh, great, uh, finance. So finance committee um, has been meeting and and working with Holly to review the um, proposed budget um, that we'll be talking about in executive session. So. Not going into any any more on that, and then obviously um, we've been um, reviewing and approving the Q3 financials, which we'll also be looking at in executive session. But we everything looks good, so that's a good thing. Um, <clears throat> the executive uh, committee we did not meet, because there was nothing to meet about. Um, so I think we can move on to marketing. Yep, and let me just. I assume that Joe is there with Josh. If I unmute this mic, hey, hey, I can hear. Floor room. Yeah, can you hear me? Yep. It's Joe. Yeah. So the um, as I mentioned in Amsterdam, the primary activity right now for the marketing committee is to try to identify a new chair. Um, as I mentioned in Amsterdam, we put out the call for um, a new chair, both online. Uh, through our channels as well as some one-to-one -one outreach, um, and we we did have one person uh, who self-nominated. The good news is that uh, she has great uh, credentials, and um, I think she's fantastic. Her name is Gina Montoya. She's from Blink Reaction. Um, I I spoke with her at length uh, about her background and credentials, and I think she's great. 
Um, so next month uh, for the December board meeting, I'll be including some information about her uh, as far as her background and, and credentials, and uh, we'll have an agenda item to go ahead and approve her as the uh, chair. All right. Um, unless there's questions on the board committees, I think we should jump to the uh, license, uh, licensing working group charter. There's yeah. a separate presentation. And if I could just hijack, if I could just hijack the meeting for one second, I don't All know. Right. Josh, are you still there? I'm still here. Yeah. Do you? Um, can you turn your camera on? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> you, you know, you know that it's uh, already been. Oh yeah. Okay, <laughs> just making sure. <laughs> All right. We just wanted to say um, happy birthday, Dries. We got. Oh. Aww. Wow. And we we already ate some of it. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Very cool. <laughs> wow. wow. Wait, wait, wait. Show that again. Show that again. I need to take a little screen grab. And I want, I'd love to get a photo of that. Yeah, we do. Thank have you. Uh, <laughs> Reese, I, I'm tweeting it right now. I'll be sure to copy you. <laughs> and that, that picture is the full cake without the. Yeah. Piece of <laughs> we'll, we'll, um, <laughs> I wish I could uh, blow out some candles over the internet, but <laughs> we're still working on that module. <laughs> right. <laughs> you are such a dag, Drace. I love it. Uh, all right. Thanks, Josh. Well, thank you. It's very kind. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, we didn't actually get to meet on your actual birthday. I'm sure you're that's not. Quite, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> the gift of a board meeting. Yeah. <laughs> Too funny. All right. Um, so should we go to the licensing working group charter? I think we should. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to sing at everything, but I got sick. I'm in my pajamas. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't feel like I was up for that. All right. So uh, as you folks uh, may recall, a couple months ago we came to you. Um, there had been sort of an... Uh, escalating number of questions regarding how licensing issues get handled on Drupal.org and a number of community members reached out to me. Um, we met a couple times and we came to you with a proposal to form a licensing working group. Um, so that's the overview. Um, this is the group that I had a conversation with uh, in July. Um, and we had, you know, a few problems that need to get fixed. Uh, we have an increasing number of issues that get posted. They are all tagged inconsistently. Essentially, they go to the webmasters queue. Uh, and so, you know, those those folks that regularly monitor the webmasters queue, they're not trained in licensing. They don't really know what to do with all those issues. Um, and even the people that have some experience with it don't have any, you know, don't feel that they have any authority to make decisions like, yes, you can include that or no, you can't, or we're going to add this to the whitelist. So, um, you know, there's a few players involved. Obviously, the association um, is one of the stakeholders because we are legally responsible uh, if things aren't carried out properly. But we also want to serve the project contributors through the working group because, they have lots of questions right now. They're just not getting those questions answered. And <clears throat> it's one of the reasons why it just makes sense to, you know, maybe host your code somewhere else and not on Drupal.org because, you, you know, you, you don't have to, that kind of ambiguity is, is taken away. Um, and then the security team has some small investment in this as well, because uh, if there are any vulner vulnerabilities in any whitelisted libraries, right, we're, we're going to have to address those. So there's just a, a team that we want to, uh, stay in touch with um, when we do this work. So again, we came to you with a proposal to create a licensing team, which we moved to calling the licensing working group. Um, and we put, sort of put three models in front of you. Uh, and you said to us, go back and talk about um, how this would be formed and come to us with a charter. 
So um, we did that. Um, we created a draft charter. Um, the language was finalized at a BOF in Amsterdam. Um, and then we had about a month of time that it been up on the site for public um, discussion. Uh, there are a few points um, that I think are already addressed in the charter. And everyone that uh, participated in those original discussions felt like the charter was in good shape to go ahead and um, and uh, signed off on it. So they all feel like it's in really good shape. Uh, a couple of the highlights of the charter, sort of the key points. Um, it'll be a, a working group of four to five folks. Uh, we went with the option that they're all appointed by the board uh, because the association is legally responsible. Um, the scope of the working group is limited just to the licensing code and other assets on D.O., not on other sites. So if we get reports of licensing issues on other sites, uh, you know, myself, uh, I'll probably end up chasing some of those down. But the, the working group here is not responsible for those. Um, and just to be clear, the working group is also not in charge of determining which license is used for the product. So the decision of you know moving away from GPLv2 for some reason, right? That's not under the working group's purview. That's still uh, Dries' purview uh, with this charter. <clears throat> I think one of the other key issues is that the group uh, responds to issues, uh, is not policing for issues. So if an issue is spotted and it's raised, the group deals with it. But what the group is not gonna do is a, you know, a cold review of all code that's checked in uh, at Drupal.org. Um, and the group will also maintain the whitelist of allowable assets that can be included in your code. So those are some of the key points from the charter. Um, and then to get them started, uh, they, we need a queue for licensing issues, uh, which the Drupal.org team is you know, ready to help set up. Um, and then we will get some training um, set up for the working group members, uh, you know, probably a briefing and then Q&A with uh, the law firm that we work with um, here in Portland. Um, and then working group members will also need to uh, get access to remove projects that are in violation of and, and don't respond to requests from the team. <clears throat> Holly, is the, that draft um, up somewhere? Um, I mean, it must be if people have been working on it. It's publicly available somewhere at the moment or...? Yeah, it was or posted not. up in the legal working group on GDO. So okay, this oh. is it. Um, and yeah, all spelled out here. So it's pretty short. Ta, ta. Oh, I'm gonna. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Other questions so far? Okay. So. Uh, so the next steps, um, assuming that the board is ready to accept the charter, um, uh, once the charter is established, then we need to recruit team members and identify a chair. Um, we can do that with a post uh, and a self-nomination process just to get some names in the door uh, and then bring a, um, a list to the board for approval, hopefully at the December meeting, might run into January with uh, holidays and whatnot. We need to establish the licensing queue and then obviously set up uh, time with the legal team uh, to get everyone trained following that. So that's the update and where we're at. And what we're asking for is to approve the charter today. I'll make a motion that we uh, approve the charter. I second. Not sure we said that, but we second it. Hello? Who seconded? It was Rob. Uh, hey, Rob. All right, awesome. Uh, so those who are in favor say aye, and those who are opposed say no. Aye. 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 I'm abstaining because I haven't actually read it yet. <laughs> okay. Then we're missing some votes still. I was struggling to get off mute, but it's an aye. 
Right. Have we lost people, Holly? Can you tell or not? Um, let me see. I don't know where Tiffany went. Let's see, Jeff's still Tiffany, there. Are you there still? There's Tiffany, yeah. Uh she Tiffany wrote up ER. Yeah. Or B C R B. So I'm not sure. She should pop back in a second. But I think Tiffany's the only one we didn't hear from as I watched the voices go around, Tiffany and Angie. Uh, maybe let's start over and we'll vote by roll call. That will make it a little bit easier. So <laughs> sorry about that. So but so say your name and then say yes or no if if possible. Oh, Angie says she can't talk but I, just so you know, she texted that in. Can you guys hear me? Yes. We can now, I think. So this is Matthew, I Yes. This is Jeff. Can you guys hear me? Yes. We can. Yeah. I don't. I had some kind of audio problem there for a little bit. Um, sorry. Uh, I. I. I'm, did we all blink? Is it just me? I. I couldn't hear for like three minutes there. Yeah, something happened. So we're redoing the vote. Um, okay. I I'm so it's it's, it's Mike here and I. Awesome. Rob, I. And Angie was I through IRC, I think, or I am. And then Tiffany, I don't know what Tiffany. This is Donna. I've now read the charter, and I I I. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that glitch, which means I can now not abstain, but vote. Yay! <laughs> All right. Um, so, who are we, Angie, are you taking, who are we missing? Is it just... That's Tiffany? everyone that's here, Dries. Oh, uh, okay. So, I think that means it's approved. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Awesome. So I think that's the end of the public stuff. I believe that's right. So uh, also, quick, um, who owns the the bullet point to go find people to fill this group? Are you going to do that, or is that something you need someone to volunteer to do? <clears throat> uh, no, I have a draft ready to set something up, um, and I was just going to send it out to the same sort of advisory group of people. So we'll post it. If I do the writing, Larry's happy to do the posting, which is helpful. <laughs> All right. Any more comments or questions from anyone? If there is nothing, I think we can uh, officially adjourn and then regroup um, on the other call. Details are in the calendar invites. <laughs>